Good Friday afternoon. I'm Karen Greer. We begin with breaking news this noon. A group of residents in Tucker now homeless after a fire rushes through their building. Our Tracy Bragg was at the scene of that fire with the latest. Uh just trying to figure out what I'm going to do next, scared. Residents of the North Lake Manor condominiums in Tucker awoke to a living nightmare just before 7.30 this morning. I was panicking because I, I, I knew it was some serious smoke. From the sky, you can see smoke bursting through the building's roof as neighbors frantically made their escape. I was just getting up to take him to school and we walked outside and there was this fire coming down, just dripping down. So we, you know, got up and ran out. Dorian Williams is a mother of two young boys. She tells me the fire that started inside the unit above hers has taken everything from her young family. We don't have anything. Everything is in that apartment and I don't know. I don't know what we're going to do next. She's not alone. DeKalb County Fire tells me at least four units sustained major damage as a result of the blaze. Williams's upstairs neighbor had to be rescued and suffered a minor injury. We did have a uh, PD called to the scene. There was an arrest made. Um, the details as far as the arrest is, of course, that's going to be under investigation. Right now, investigators aren't sharing the details of that arrest. While they're working to determine the cause of the fire, Williams and her neighbors are left in desperate need. I don't have money like that and having to take care of two kids after this is, is, is a lot. So if, if y'all can help us out in any way you possibly can, I would truly, 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 truly appreciate it. Well, you heard that heartfelt and honest plea from Williams there. You can actually find a link to a GoFundMe account set up to help her and her family get back on their feet at the bottom of your screen. Now, there's also another GoFundMe account there set up for another resident here who also needs help getting back on his feet after this fire. But for right now, and also, Karen, I want to say that folks at home, you can actually find the links to those GoFundMe uh, sites on our website, CBS46.com. For now, Karen, I'll send it back to you. And Tracen, any idea how this fire started this morning? Well, right now, Karen, investigators aren't releasing much as they're working to learn that information. They're not even releasing who the person they took into custody is or his connection with what happened here. But as soon as we get those details, you can count on CBS 46 to release them first. Reporting live in Tucker, I'm Tracen Bragg, CBS 46 News. All right, Tracen, thank you so much for that. So